create with me today as we create not one, but two beautiful handmade cards with tons of color and drama. This is Jamie with gettingcrafty.net. Today's Stamping Stream Friday, we are going to go ahead and create two very beautiful, colorful, stained glass-esque handmade cards. These are great to deliver some cheer in the new year. Welcome to 2021. This is the free stamp set available starting January 5th with Stampin' Up! And you can see more on my blog at gettingcrafty.net. Let's go ahead and create the color now. And don't forget, you wanna make sure that you take time to subscribe, hit that bell, and so you receive all notifications for our Card Making Monday, Wild Card Wednesdays, and Stamping Stream Fridays as we craft with you all week long. Comment and see how you can win something wonderful today. Creating in color is easier than ever with the new Touch of Ink free celebration stamp set. This comes out January 5th of 2021. Absolutely gorgeous and free with a minimum purchase. If you'd like to receive it early, make sure you let me know and join our Getting Crafty family so that we can have you do so. We released live butterflies at my wedding and I absolutely love the freedom and beauty of a butterfly. And um, when you look at the way that they're done in their chrysalis, right, it symbolizes new life. So as we join into the year of 2021, let's do something new and exciting and add some new life to it. So grabbing a pierce mat, when you use photopolymer stamps, you want to take time in order to embrace having the right tools. A pierce mat underneath of your photopolymer will help it stamp better. We also need a scrap of Whisper White cardstock, and we're gonna do it twice right now, and I'm gonna show you why. We're gonna embrace the whole using our Stampin' Right markers. This is the Bright's Color Collection, and we're going to um, utilize a two ink pads. We're gonna utilize the Daffodil Delight and Pacific Point, but we're also going to use, actually, I think we're gonna switch this out. We're gonna go a little crazy here. We're gonna use some Bermuda Bay and some Gorgeous Grape, and then we'll stamp with Pacific Point. Now, this is a two-step stamping process, so it's distinctive stamp. When you have photopolymer, you want to make sure you don't have dog hair on that. Hello. I have two dogs. Um, okay, so you're going to roll your photopolymer down onto the block. That is a great way to get rid of any air bubbles. You want to kind of push them out if you can before you get started. Now, a distinctive stamp is one that's going to stamp with a variance of color and layer, and you'll see that just now. We're going to stamp using our Daffodil Delight ink pad and photopolymer picks it up. You can see it there, it grabs the color, and then we're gonna turn this over, and I'm going to use the Bermuda Bay um, Stampin' Right marker. You're looking for the paintbrush side here, and then we're going to highlight the wings on this beautiful, beautiful butterfly. So go ahead and add the color through. Each one, like a snowflake, will be unique and new. Now, if you're in an area that does not have butterflies as often as we do here in Southern California, you'll um, enjoy creating something that you want to see. Uh, I actually live in an area where we have a lot of butterfly plants. We have butterfly plants on my yard. Um, and we're just gonna embrace some of the Bermuda Bay there. We're gonna add a little bit of that gorgeous grape and the caps fit right on the end, so I'm less likely to lose it. Hello, that is like so freaking important because I am great at losing stuff. Are you great at losing stuff? Maybe that's just me. And we're just gonna go ahead and embrace the color here. I want to highlight where the wings come in. So just kinda come in, adding some more distinct shadows and look. Now we're gonna huff on it. So you're gonna take it to your mouth, with your mouth open and breathe on it. It's very simple. So we're gonna do that once. And first of all, can we talk about how pretty is that? Oh my goodness, so pretty, so easy. Then we're gonna grab the Pacific Point ink pad and the outline here. Now you can do it one of two ways. You could have stamped the outline down first and then the um, two-step stamping behind it, or you can do what I'm doing. And this is going to create like a watercolor effect. It's gonna go over it kind of lush. And you can see photopolymer, the one big benefit is you can see straight through it. Now, as you add color, that will change. So just keep that in mind. We're gonna give a little push all the way around, pull it up, and how beautiful is that? Now we're gonna do it again because we're gonna create two cards right now.
I mean, can we talk about how simply stunning it is to have two slightly different colored stamps or stamped images? So we're gonna be using two very different designer series papers today. We're gonna to be embracing um, some color and some drama. So we're gonna be embracing this gorgeous designer series paper. It is called, <laughs> how come I can never get the name when I put paper on top of it? I mean, seriously. You can see the description in my description. Oh, here it is. Crackers and cheese, you guys. It is called True Love Designer Series Paper. It's black and white and full of pattern and gorgeousness. Simply stunning. But we're also gonna add some color. I mean, like in a new way. We're going to embrace the very delightful free designer series paper with celebration. So we're gonna grab some of this color and we're gonna show you how one look will have two very, very different looks with the designer series paper that you pick. So here I have on both cards, we're just gonna fussy cut them out with our paper snips and get them ready, two different ones. And um, we'll lay the card out right now. Okay, two really fun and varied looking um, butterflies. So I love when you mix color, you can really create this unique stained glass look like you do in this beautiful handmade card. These hand stamped butterflies are unique on their own and they're really gonna be easy to create with. So we're going to grab Daffodil Delight cardstock that we've scored at four and a quarter, cut at five and a half. And we're going to go ahead, and I've already scored it, so it's ready to go. Turn it. Using a bone folder, we're going to give it a good impress. So I'm going to move my pierce mat to the side. And because we're creating two cards pretty quickly, I'll just do both at the same time. Now, when I use my bone folder, you'll see the shiny mark that might be on the back of it. I turn it over so it's not going to carry that shiny mark over. Give it a hard... Impress, but not like you're wearing yourself out. When you raise the bone folder at a different, every inch you raise, increases the pounds per square inch of what you are putting on there. Now we have the two designer series papers. We have this beautiful berry one and this beautiful true love one. And in, in order to embrace them and frame them out, I have basic black cardstock for this one here. And I have balmy blue cardstock here. Now, this is very spring, it's juicy, it's beautiful, it's vibrant, and this is all drama. Drama, 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 I love it so much. I love both, they're so much fun. So let's go ahead and put these together with Stampin' Dimensional Adhesives. So you can see here, I did not go sparingly with the dimensionals. When you're sending this, you want it to stand up to being shipped and all of that good stuff. But I did go three dimensionals on the side, but I pulled out our mini glue dots. Our mini glue dots are so freaking amazing. I love them. Um, I'm gonna put two on the body of the butterfly. And we're gonna create a little additional level of depth, of texture and dimension with that. So this is gonna lay flat because of the Stampin' uh, glue dots, the mini glue dots, and these are gonna be up. So I'm gonna kinda do a little curving. And of course, we need a beautiful butterfly to land on a beautiful flower. And there's no need to like worry about which flower you're gonna pick, I mean, honestly. Now, your butterfly is going to have this distinct little texture that you, it's kind of great to the eye. You're like, something's happening with the butterfly. It looks a little bit more alive, especially at this angle in person where you can see there's a bowed texture. And we're gonna do the same thing here. You always make sure that you leave skin to cover your mini glue dots. So what we're doing here is we're rolling it back, grabbing a little glue dot, and putting that on there. I don't touch it. I don't like to touch a lot of sticky stuff. It transfers to my crafting. Now we're gonna come in here and look at some berry yumminess, honestly. So I grew up in the central coast of California near Santa Maria where we have a strawberry festival every year. So strawberries are big for me. Um, it always came out in April right around my birthday. Now we're gonna grab a clear wink of Stella Glimmer brush 
It's a glycerin water brush. So because it's glycerin, it will transfer color. So your goal is do not dilly dally. Just go quickly over it. You don't need the whole thing to be covered in stained glass. I mean stained glass, in glitter if you don't want. But if you do, just move fast. You don't want it to get muddled. Also, if you noted when I was cutting it, you'll see I left a little bit of white around the, um, the cut image. And the reason I did that was so that it would support the fine little legs that are sticking there in an antennae, but it also gives the color room to breathe. So if it's, you can see where it's closer to the edge, it's just a little bit darker that way. But if you put the little white around it, it looks better for that kind of thing. And um, we have here in the central coast of California, right off of Ventura, every December and January, we go to see the monarch um, fields. There's fields over in Ventura that has some great monarchs. And we're going to do that again here this week for New Year's week. So now we have two very, very different looking handmade cards. I love them. I hope you do too. Which do you prefer? Do you like the bright strawberries or the more drama with the black and white? Comment and let me know. Now we're going to grab a piece of Daffodil Delight cardstock. I'm grabbing a greeting. Thank you so much. Best wishes. I'm thinking of you. My friend Nikki suggested that earlier this week. We did another card similar to this on a Facebook Live. So if you're not joining us on our many forms of social media, we are out there to create with you all week long. Mondays are Card Making Mondays, Stamping Stream Fridays, but this is New Year's Day, so I'm not gonna be streaming live. I'm creating this morning and putting it out there. And then we have Wild Card Wednesdays. And this week we were focusing on Bible journaling. So make sure you check out some of the fun that we do on the various days and all the videos waiting for you. Comment and let me know. If you're not on my mailing list, make sure you get on it because we have happy gifts going out all the time to those in our life. Now, we're gonna grab a paper trimmer because I get a little A-type about this kind of thing. So here's the Stampin' Up! paper trimmer. I'm gonna come in here, go right under the words, looking at the track here. I wanna give it a little room to breathe, but not too much. Let me trim down, remove this little scrap. Oh, upside down, so it kind of threw me there for a second. Go in between. I know one of these cards are gonna to go to my friend Dolores. I was thinking about her, missing her. Another one's going to my friend Terry. Super fun. Now we have this really cute little thinking of you. So we can put it down with blue dots or dimensional. I think I'm going dimensional all the way just because I like um, a variance of textures and depth and dimension on my crafting. And it's easy to do when you create really simple like this. And I tucked it in just a little bit so it's framed by the designer series paper. Sometimes I peel the backing off and put the paper to it versus putting this thing there and removing the backing. There you go. Two really pretty butterfly cards created really quickly for you and using a brand new free stamp set called A Touch of Ink. It's distinctive, it creates a lot of shadow and variance, and I wanna show you what we created earlier this week on a Facebook Live. You can see here with the hummingbird version, what I came up with, and hummingbirds were in honor of my Nana. I love it. I hope that this inspires you to create with color. Now, I highly encourage, if you're gonna order our Stampin' Right markers, order them by their color family. They come in this great little holder, and um, I can see what colors are missing. I, uh, it stores really easily. And when I store it, I store it so it's on the side so that my Stampin' Right markers are sitting like so, so the color stays on the side. This is our Brights collection here. You can see the full shopping list right in my description and on my blog at gettingcrafty.net. I hope this made you smile today. It sure did me. Happy New Year. Enjoy this. And let's just show you what it comes out looking like. Did you have fun creating not only one, two, but three beautiful handmade cards. I hope that you did. Please join me and make sure you've taken time to subscribe, 
hit that bell. Join us for all of our videos. Go ahead and comment and see what we've created before. We're always waiting for you. Let me know which is your favorite. Are you a strawberry girl or a black floral girl? Are you drama or are you bright and lively? Or are you both? Aren't these gorgeous? Comment and let me know which is your favorite, please. I'd love to know. And then join us for our next card making class. We'd love to have you. Don't miss out on these upcoming videos waiting for you now. We would love to have you create with us all week long. Join our online card Card making classes and more. You can see them on my blog and below. See it in the description now. Have a good one. Happy New Year.